UFC 277. Orion Koss picks up first UFC win over Blood Diamond. A planned welterweight bout set to kick off the UFC 277 preliminary card on Saturday had a wrench thrown in the works when one fighter missed weight. That would be Orion Koss, who came in 1.5 pounds heavy for his fight with Mike Mathatha, better known as Blood Diamond necessitating a catchweight. The fight would move forward with both Koss and Blood Diamond, who had twice before been lined up for a fight looking for their first UFC win. It wouldn't be an easy night for the winner. Both fighters took the center of the octagon after a touch of gloves. A low kick from Blood Diamond opened the fight, followed by a high kick from Koss. Blood Diamond landed a front kick and blocked a hook from Koss. Koss shot for a takedown, but Diamond stuffed it. Koss put Diamond against the fence. About two minutes in, Diamond reversed Koss. Koss landed a trip takedown, but Diamond got back up. Koss landed another takedown, but this time Koss kept him down inside control. Less than a minute left, and Diamond got back to his feet. Koss landed a belly-to-back suplex, but didn't do much with it. The round ended with the pair of fighters back in the center of the octagon. A low kick from Blood Diamond started round two. Thirty seconds into the round, Blood Diamond landed a punch that caused Koss to clinch. Koss put Blood Diamond against the fence. After about 20 seconds, they reversed each other. Two minutes into the second, and Koss landed an elbow from the clinch. Blood Diamond eventually broke away and landed a body kick. Both men looked pretty tired with two minutes left. Blood Diamond landed an elbow and a front kick that hurt Koss. On the break, Diamond landed a spinning back fist that hurt Koss as Galaxy landed a back fist in return. Koss was wobbled, but Diamond got clinched. Blood Diamond landed a knee that hurt Koss as well and began to light up his opponent. Koss survived by clinching with Diamond. Round three started, and both fighters were sluggish. Koss landed a jab, and Blood Diamond responded with one of his own. Koss put Diamond against the fence again, and then landed a takedown. Blood Diamond got back to his feet, but with three minutes left, Koss jumped on Diamond's back. They'd go back down. Koss locked up an arm triangle, but Diamond defended. The round had ended with Koss controlling Blood Diamond completely.